So we're continuing with uh, putting the dovetail slots in uh, both sides of the base frames of the saw stallions and on the top and probably then along the one edge that doesn't have anything sticking out beyond it. In other words, there's an edge here designed to be flat. So I'm building a track for my routers. There's going to be a two-in-one track. One side of it is going to be for the large router with the dovetail bit in it, and the other track is going to be the smaller router with the straight bit in it. Whenever we cut the dovetail grooves, we do the small straight bit first at a partial depth, and then we do the uh, dovetail. So I've got this 16-inch fiberboard sort of material. It's uh, one eighth of an inch thick. You could use quarter inch or uh, instead of one eighth, and probably might even be better. I don't know. I like this stuff. It's nice and slick, uh, although it may not take glue very well because I don't expect it to glue very well. Uh, kind of a slick surface on it. I put it two sided carpet tape down the what's going to be the bottom side of my rail and so I'm going to flip that over now and try to get that lined up down the middle of that strip. It's not critical that it be down the middle because um, it's the routers are going to be self adjusting and you'll see what I mean when I run the routers they're going to run along this edge and they're going to cut their own edge and they're going to cut it parallel with uh, the edge. So, got that all down now. I am going to end up uh, fortifying that by going from the underside. I do want to make sure that I keep the very middle clear or any metal because um, I, I am going to run my routers down that. All right, so there's two lines. I had a battery run down on me, so I lost my audio, so I'm going to do a voice over here. This is my eight foot track, and to review what we did previously, we uh, screwed down uh, from the underside a uh, one by six, uh, eight foot long board to the top of particle board. And now we're gonna cut a dovetail groove down the center of the track or the uh, one by six board. We were careful not to put the screws where they would interfere with the uh, router bit. So uh, I have simply laid it out on some sawhorses here and you're building a sawhorse so you'll have some ability to do this later. And then I have used an eight foot long board as a track guide and set that at the right distance so that the center of my router bit would run down the center of my track. Um, I'm going to cut it first with the one quarter inch uh, straight bit right down the middle. And then I'm going to come back and cut it a second time with the um, dovetail bit. Uh, set at a, at a bigger depth. As we dis will discuss several times, you do the preliminary uh, groove at about one quarter of an inch deep into your board, and you do the dovetail at three. 
just for clarification, we are doing the dovetail groove on the bottom of the track unit, not on the side that has the wooden track, but on the 12 inch wide bottom. Uh, that's because we want our dovetail groove on the bottom of the jig so that we can use our match fit clamps to have a zero profile when we hook our uh, track up to various work pieces. So I took the eight foot track and I cut it into two sections, one five feet or 60 inches and one three feet or 36 inches. So this will be very useful often when I'm cutting smaller things and putting dovetail grooves in them. And this will be useful when I'm doing longer ones. And I guess if I really need to, I can put the two together carefully if I need to do eight foot. So, um, what I've done on this one already, off camera, is I've run the Bosch uh, router, the big one, big router, with the dovetail bit in it, across this rail going this direction, and I have run the little Bosch Colt with the quarter inch straight bit in it along this direction. So. When I'm putting dovetail grooves into anything, <coughs> including the uh, pop-up workbench top, I will just use the right-hand section or one section to do all the preliminary grooves, and then I'll use the same track uh, to you to go and do the deeper dovetail grooves. So I've got this one ready. Uh, now I'm doing this one, so I've got this secured, actually using dovetail clamps uh, to my sawhorse on that end, to my table saw on this end, making sure that I've got enough clearance so that this uh, dovetail bit is not going to hit my sawhorse. Well, I'm not sure, but let's see. No, so it's not going to hit my sawhorse, and uh, it's not going to hit my table saw. So here we go. I'm going to just now cut along this this edge. You always want to your router wants to go right to left, so you always want your router on the right hand side of any track. So we'll put dovetail grooves in all of those. Uh, there's two things you'll want to use. One is maybe a track that's set up. Uh, what I've done is set up a track uh, that on one side is for my dovetail, my big router with my dovetail bit in it. And then on the other side, coming this way, is for my uh, Bosch Colt router with a half inch up uh, cut bit in that. So. I did the half inch upcut first everywhere, and then I come back and lay down the track as closely as I can, but just a little bit off because the dovetail bit is just a little wider, and I, I want it centered on that groove. So uh, anyway, that's the process. So that's what we're working on. I did find that I wanted to do a preliminary groove with the... Uh, quarter inch, I think I said half inch a minute ago, quarter inch up tail, up cut bit. Uh, and that then relieves a lot of the stress on the dovetail bit when it does the deeper and wider cut. I probably need to stop shortly and sharpen my uh, dovetail bit as well.
All right. <clears throat> Here we got the base. Dovetail grooves all the way on this side, all the way down the leg, stopping just short of where the tenon is that goes into the foot. Then we got it all the way across there, all the way down there. We got a slot all the way, uh, one third of the way across the top. And we have slots on the other, all of the other faces. Hopefully they're all now, uh, yep, they're all full size. And then we got one down the side. So that saw stallion is ready to be put into its feet, sanded, and polyurethane. I'll experiment with that. So that's what we're after. Now we get to go, since I got all the grooves and all of this, and then it's a buddy, the other saw stallion, now we get to uh, start putting all the dovetail grooves in the side panel that can be used as a small top and then also into the large top.